Hi, friends. Welcome to New in the Studio. Happy Monday. Um, I am excited to be with you today. And it is a snowy day. Well, it snowed this last night into today. And uh, it actually snowed more than it snowed all winter. So, and then we had rain. <laughs> yeah, we did have rain today. We had indoor recess. So very strange for um, Minnesota weather, but who knows? Everything's wonky. Um, anyway, we have one more week of school and then it is spring break. Woo -woo. Super excited about that. Uh, so I want to show you today a stamp set that it is retiring, um, but uh, I also want to make a shaker card. So I'm going to show you two, kind of we got two things going on here. So first off, Beautiful Balloons is such a fun um, stamp set. And these balloons are super fun with the confetti in them. We've got a little bit of confetti. I love the happy birthday. Um, it's got a little ribbon for the balloon, which I have misplaced. So I will draw on my ribbon <laughs> except where it is. Um, and then it has lots of different dyes. Hey, when Tina. I hey, Sandy. Hi. Hi, friends. Hi, Tina. When I die cut things um, extra, I just put them in here with it. So it's got some fun extra pieces. But um, and then the other thing in this bundle or sweet, is it sweet? Yes, it's sweet is this really fun paper. So here's the good news. Hey, Patty. This paper is not going anywhere. So the paper is staying. Woo. As you can see, I've got lots of little pieces, but the paper is staying just that. Whoa. Well, they'll just have a party right there. So the paper will be here. It is not going anywhere. Um, it's such a fun party paper. The other thing in this suite is this super fun. Um, I love this gold celebrations. So it's silver and gold, either one. Let me move this out of the way so we move that um, reflection. So hey, look Kathy. at that. Hey, Cheryl. You see? Hi, friends. Yay, yay. Um, and silver. So one sheet has this on both sides. And the other one has polka dots. And again, sorry, it's very hard to see. One side is silver, one side is gold. So we're going to use that in our shaker card as well. Um, and if you're looking for it in the catalog, it is right here on page 14, right in the front. And so, um, like I said, the stamp set, the dies, and this fun um, gold paper is going to go away. But the stamp, the paper, designer series paper is staying. So. Let's get started. All right, I am going to use blueberry. I have not used blueberry in a while. I do like it. I think it's a really fun color. Blueberry bushel. I actually would like a bushel of blueberries. That would be super fun. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece of designer series paper, but before I put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some balloons on it. So, I am going to use my, not, probably not that big one. I'm going to use the two smaller sizes of balloons. I'm going to start with my, um, I think I'm going to start with afternoon azure, azure afternoon. Azure afternoon, I think is what it's called. Yes. And go ahead and I'm just going to kind of stamp this up. This is going to sit on like this on my paper. So we're just going to make a kind of fun design on top of, I might, use the blueberry because it will cover that up a little bit better. We'll see. That's fine. I think it's fine. Um, so just going to stamp some of these and stamp one off over here. And then I'm also going to stamp, I have this little one, I'm going to stamp some in lemon lime twist. So lemon lime twist um, is just a fun color also. So I'm just going to use this little balloon and stamp some lemon lime twist. It's kind of fun stamping on the designer series paper. I hadn't really thought about doing that. And I was like, oh, that could be fun. And you know what? It is fun. So I'm going to put something in the middle. So I'm not as concerned about stamping on the middle. So I think that will probably do. All right. Now we're going to, I'm going to close these up so I don't get ink all over everything. This is going to sit right here. Okay. So let me attach that on. Oh, and I look at, I wrote on the back, it is three and a half by four. <laughs> this piece is three and a half by four. I thought I didn't, I did, wasn't grabbing a post-it note and I was like, oh, I'll well, just write on the back. Okay, it's going this way. Now, like I told you, <laughs> I don't know where the ribbon is. So I'm just going to draw some, a couple of strings here. We just on a balloon shop. I think I'm all right. Just some ribbon. Ooh, don't get shaky though. That doesn't work. 
just some ribbons hanging down and this one and one here. All right. Oops, there's one more up here. Let me just put that into there. All right, good enough. So what we're going to do is take the die of the big three balloon. It's um, it, it's the big balloon and then two other balloons. And we're going to actually die cut through this whole thing. So we need to use the big boss. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, um, the handle is caught on something. Here we go. So I'm going to use the big stamp and cut and emboss. And oops, here we go. Hey, Diane. Hey, Mary. Push that over so you can see. It was hey, so fun. Mary. I got to meet Mary in person for the first time this weekend. Yes, it was so fun. And Tina was there too, but I had met Tina before, but it was fun seeing both of you. So I'm going to die cut this out. And it's going right through the whole card. So it's going through the cardstock, and then it's going to go through the designer series paper. And you're going to see how easy it is. Oh, set down that big guy. How easy it is to make a shaker card kind of backwards, if you want to call it that. Okay, this you can save for another time. Okay, we don't need that. So what we're going to do is grab, or I pushed everything off to get the boss here. Not that piece this piece right here. I'm going to stick it under here and I'm going to go ahead and stamp our balloons kind of through here. You, um, I, I'm not going to eyeball it. I'm not so good at eyeballing that. I don't want to. So I'm going to stamp right through the hole and hope I don't get any on the rest of it. So this is lemon lolly. So grab, oh, you can tell my balloon has a little bit of color on it. Hmm. Well, let's get that stuck first off. Okay, so, uh, uh, brought row. All right, what is going on? Let me wipe off my block and grab this again. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take my little back of my dimensional sheet and just push it on to make sure it's there because now it has ink on it. All right, hopefully it's gonna stay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna stamp. <clears throat> my yellow lemon lolly balloon kind of right through the middle there okay so there's that one i'm going to put a little happy birthday on top of that balloon so here's my happy birthday and here's my little walk so let me grab that all right so i'm gonna put this little my goodness i don't know why things are not sticking there we go and I'm going to stamp this in the blueberry bushel. We know that that's going to be like right, line that up under there, right about there. Okay, I'm going to stamp my happy birthday, not upside down. All right, stamp happy birthday there. That's super fun. We need two more balloons, so let's get the right balloons. We are going to, let's see, this, is this little one one of them? E yes, question mark. This is one of them for sure. Okay, so this one I'm going to stamp in that, um, I think I'm going to go blueberry with this one. I really just need to, here's, I, I need to put just a tiny bit of adhesive on the back of this to keep this in place where I need it to be. So let's get that lined, lined up again here. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. So just a tiny bit of adhesive back behind that. Okay, now I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> See if we can get that kind of in the hole there. The other thing you do, I suppose, is you could use a pencil and kind of... I'm feeling like I can't see so well on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little dot up here. And a little dot right there. So I know that that's the top and that's the, mm, what do you call it? The nub. So the nub and the top. The knot on the balloon. The knot, yep. I'm just going to go for it <clears throat> and hopefully it'll work. Yep. Well, pretty darn good, don't you think? Okay, and then we just need one more little balloon and that will be our, um, this little one. I need a little block. Did you know if you sing, sometimes the blocks like come to you? <laughs> That's right. bizarre. That's bizarre. I know. Sorry. But I was kind of singing. So, and nice. I'm going to go ahead and do this one in the parakeet party. So, whoa. 
All right, let's grab that. This one I feel more confident about. Good grief. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Uh, da -da. It'll be worth it, I promise. Dun, da -da. Okay, now we're going to put this one right here. I think there is a bigger balloon, but I think this one will be fine. I'm going to do this one. Whoop, there we go. All right, so there is our main image. And you're thinking, well, that's very strange. Well, we haven't finished yet. Now we're going to take some um, dimensional, and you can either use dimensionals, you can use the edge of the dimensionals, or you can use the foam adhesive strips, which I really like to use this for a shaker card. It's nice and thick. Um, I don't know that it's, it feels a little bit thick. Oh, yes, it is. Can you see that? It's a little bit thicker than the dimensional. So for sure, I'm going to use that. All right, so I'm going to take one off and we'll see where we go. So I just want to go around the outside of this balloon like this. And I don't want any gaps because you know what happens if we have a gap? That means whatever I put inside the balloon is going to come Our confetti off. goes everywhere. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So let's keep going around around i don't want to go so close that my um that the i don't want this to show i don't want the uh what am i calling these strips i don't want the strips to show so go like there it's easier if i just take that off and up here and back down and around yep a little short, but that's okay, because look, I have tons more. So let's grab a piece from another one and get that off. And I'm going to get that right on there because, like I said, I don't want any gaps. And I'll, I can see if I have a gap, and then we'll, we can always fix it too. So I'm going to put it next to it like that, all the way over to there. Pull that off. Okay, so there is my sealed <laughs> there we go all right so there is my sealed um image and we are going to put in there some of this fun loose silver sequins so let's go ahead and pop some of those in there and if i get them on this it's going to stick on there so i don't want it on there i just want it inside because if it sticks on there then it doesn't have it won't have a seal right it won't seal completely so I'm going to kind of shake this around a little bit. I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm sealed. And so then I'm going to, I decided to use this piece of the, that gold and silver. Isn't that so fun? And I think I am going to use the gold. Yeah, I think the gold pops out more. And I'm just going to put this right here like that. Okay, now is when we're going to shake it and see. Is anything falling out? No, it's not. Perfect. That's what we want. Nothing should fall out. All right, back to our card. Here's our card. And this piece. So I don't know if you've ever made a shaker card. Sometimes you're like, un, like you're leaning your head up. You're trying to see because you can't exactly get. Um, it's hard to. It's hard to put something on top of a shaker card. There's lots of different ways to make it, but so this is a handy way because it's now it's like backwards. You see what I mean? So that is going to sit right like that. And then we'll cover up the inside. I'm just going to trim this little piece off a little bit more. The, that. Okay. So this piece is going to go right in here. So I'm going to put adhesive around this. And here it is. You could use a sticky strip. You could or steal, you could use the seal and stick tape plus, you could use the mono adhesive glue, whatever your little heart desires, you may use. But I'm gonna go all the way around. So I do want to make sure it sticks well. There we go. All right, back on the side, and we're gonna close this because I want this to be right where my balloons are isn't that so fun with the confetti and the stars oh i like it Put that right there okay push that on awesome so that is the inside which obviously we're not going to leave it like that 
I'm going to go ahead and put um, a piece of paper so we can either do this side or we can do this side. I think I'm, I think I kind of like this side, a little bit more party, a little bit more of a party there. So I'm going to put some dimensionals here because otherwise this is going to be too low. So I'm actually I'm going to use the same strips because we know that that's the same height. And I'll just put some here and some like that. And that'll be just fine. Ooh. Okay, and then we need, oopsie, we need some adhesive on here so that this whole piece sticks. Are you with me? It's making sense? I kind of like it this way. All right, so we're covering up the mechanism with that. And then this is where we would write. So I don't think I'm going to stamp. Hmm. I kind of like, actually like, I think it's time for a celebration. This one, let's do that. I think it's time for a celebration. So we're going to stamp that inside. There's another block. Take off my balloon. Okay. So that would be kind of fun to stamp inside. Move that Diane first. had a good idea. She Second. said you could make a template to use oh, sure. for the balloon so you don't have to mess up your good DSP. Make a template. Help me understand. So you don't have to use the DSP as a background? <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we'll put this right here. Just like that. I haven't been looking at any of the comments. So, all right. So we're not done yet. Obviously, this is blank and we're going to put something there. So we're going to use another little piece of the paper, designer series paper. And we're just going to put a little piece right there. And then we've got a few more things to add to it. This is a fun card. I think it's a really fun card and it's fun to send. It's fun to make. All right. I'm going to go about there. And then one thing that's in here are some stars. So I went ahead and die cut out two stars out of blueberry. And we're going to go ahead and put those on. I think I didn't bring over my gems, love. You found them. No, the gems. The For the shaker. No, no. The rhinestone gems. Okay. Thank you. Can you go get them? I will. Thank you. <laughs> what would I do without him? I, I totally would be lost, friends. All right. So we'll go put that there. We're going to put one right down here. These two balloons. This one needs a little ribbon because this one too. And I suppose this one does. I'm going to curve this one over this way so I don't... <laughs> I have no idea where that piece went. So that is, look at how fun that is. And when you open it up, you cannot see the mechanism at all. Dave's going to bring some gems over if you can find them. There's lots going on, so I don't know if he'll be able to. But isn't that fun? I think that's a, kind of a upside down shaker card because it's not on the top, it's on the bottom. All right. So we're going to put some fun little diamond actually i think i might use these the yes because these are actually going away so they would be fun to use on here i like to use things that are going away because it's the last last chance kind of i'm just going to scooch this over like that mary says oh my stars i love that shaker card. ah thanks mary so fun from tina it is so fun and maybe a little one kind of i might put it right there on the edge of the star okay isn't that fun? I like it. I like it a lot. And it's fun with the confetti paper as well. And I don't see any pieces like falling out. So I know I got it sealed well. All right, Dave, are you ready? I know I have two, a couple cards to show you, but if you are ready, you may, you just, you can't help but shake this, right? You can also, are you ready or no? Cause I can keep talking. I have something you can else. Keep talking. So um, another way to make a shaker card, that's probably a, a bit easier is to use a clear envelope. So you could die cut this out, put the clear envelope behind there. That's I'll show you that another time. All right. You good, hon? Sure. All right. Trying to figure out where my graphic went, but that's okay. Right. Oh, we were just working on it. So I know. I think I can share it this way. Okay. All right. So, 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 so. Um, we had such a fun weekend this last weekend. We did. We had a great group of crafters up, most of whom didn't know each other. Few, some did, some didn't. I felt like there but were like three groups. A fun time was had mm -hmm. by all. Yes. Um, but I do want to say that um, as a result, or you know, something we'd been thinking of for a while, 
was how could we make the hosted weekends even more fun? And here's what I have. Here's what we you. decided. Here's where we landed. All right. So you can see this now. From now on, if you sign up for one of our hosted weekends, you will have an option to add on a bonus night. That'd be so fun. Bonus night, you get to come up on Thursday instead of waiting all the way until Friday to come up to the refuge. So if you want, you can sign up for it. Thursday night, it'll add $45 um, to the charge, but you will get Thursday night lodging, dinner that night, brunch the next morning, and then join with the rest of the group starting Friday. So Friday, Saturday, leaving on Sunday. Great time will be had by all. I will say that April is sold out. However, we do have space for May and we do have space in June. So if you're looking to expand, if you want to just come Friday to Sunday, totally fine. But we're going to start offering the bonus night of coming up on Thursday instead of... And is of, that starting in April? I will be contacting the April folks gotcha. if they want to add that on. But that yes, sounds great. If you want to register for May, I have already added it to the ability for May. So nice. Good to go. And I don't know about you guys, but once you get your stuff set up, <laughs> it's especially nice if you're scrapbooking, you might as well stay longer. All right. Um, I'm just loving this. Okay. I'm going to show you, I got a couple of birthday cards that I want to share. So this is one. And the fun, funny thing about this, this is our circle saying celebrate and our gems. This must've been a little sticker she got, but is this not so stinking cute? Just this little card. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, here is another one. This is by Laura Arndt, which I was like, oh, that's fun. I look, look, love all this. Now wait till you see what she wrote on the inside. Celebrating 60 years, six decades, 720 months. Wow. Weeks, days, hours, minutes, the best is yet to come. I thought that was really clever. I thought that was really fun. So that's by my friend, Laura Arndt. And then I have one more. This is pretty wow also. This is by Tanya Jackson. She lives in Missouri. No. Um, Illinois, Illinois, Urbana. Okay. So look at this. This is, um, I don't know if it's called a shade. Like you can. No, it's a um, screen. Screen. Screen cards. Screen cards. Because it looks like, like the a screens. Screen, yeah. yeah. So look at how fun. This is um, actually using the hot air balloon designer series paper. And then some butterflies die cut out. Some are the butterflies that go with that. She wrote, she's so funny. Just exactly what a stamper would do is put it on a post-it note so I could use it again. <laughs> That's awesome. So it just stands up like that. I mean, how cute is that? Dave's like, you should make that sometime and show people how to make it. So I will. But anyway, I opened it. I was like, wow, what's going on here? This is so fun. So anyway, that's what I have to share with you. And I look forward. Um, there I am. So hopefully, uh, if you make any cards, per certainly put them in the chat. Hopefully that didn't look too hard. I, it's not really it's not difficult. It just takes a little bit more time than some of our other cards. So definitely worth sending to somebody who has a birthday. Who has a birthday coming up? Anybody who's on right now? Me. <laughs> oh, Dave. <laughs> well, we know that. I'm not going to send you this card. <laughs> so anyway, um, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'll just make my own card then. No, I'll make you a card, but not <laughs> this one that you're seeing. And then I really hope that you guys um, have a great week. I hope it's a really good week. Like I said, we have four more days of school before we're off for a week. And we're very, very excited about that. So, all right, friends, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. And until then, happy stamping.